trying to kind of beautify the backyard, work on some projects, getting things put in. And I really am excited about beautifying this little area for my daughter's wedding. You're getting that up quite high, huh? Oh, is that where your post is gonna go? Yeah. Mm, Bryce is getting some dirt in here. We are attempting to. The tractor broke down. It's over there. He's enjoying. <laughs> Are you enjoying? Oh, There's no? There's camera shot. You're oh. not supposed to film him right now. It's not the best light. Chipper is enjoying the dirt. Oh, there he goes. Can I take your order, please? While building with earth bags, we discovered our family thrived creatively and grew stronger by working side by side. We welcome you to be a part of our family for this week's adventure. in. I have rebuilt that carburetor about 40 million times. Long story short, I think it's spark plugs now. New spark plugs. So you have, it looks like six footings? Seven. There's one right behind you. So this is like our little sneak peek of what it's going to feel like. It's going to be amazing. And it will be a wonderful addition for the wedding. Not sure where Bree and Jared is going to be their main setup. So we'll have to figure that out. suddenly getting so familiar. The starter went out in the tractor, uh, so I have the new one in there. However, I'm dealing with something kind of hilarious right now. My tool happens to be stuck. <laughs> <laughs> don't even, I don't even know what to do. There's a bolt and there's the case of the starter that's there and my tool's in between there. It slipped in there just fine, it just is not wanting to come out. Maybe I should just leave it in there. It's not gonna hit anything. I could just drive with it in there. You think that's a bad idea to just leave it in there? Well, we're getting ready to put together some uh, rebar in our footings and getting ready to connect that to the rebar that's going to go into the columns. Is that your pipe bender, huh? Yep. <laughs> so, do you want some welding? Yeah. Okay. Look, I am your father. Well, two 
wood prices have been crazy lately. I mean, we've got this whole idea of, you know, hundred dollars for a sheet of plywood or 10 bucks for a stud. My projects have kind of been a little bit hampered with the cost. So we've come up with some alternatives. What did you get? Here it is. Rip it down, cut it in half and use them as forms. Wow, those are big monsters. I found some six inch tubes of PVC. Here's what we're doing. We are cutting these tubes in half and they'll be our mold for the posts. We're tube cutting. Hello, Donna. Oh, it's really This is a lot stronger plastic than I thought it would be. Well, there we go. Well, this is what an inside of a pipe looks like. Yeah. That's gonna make people sick. <laughs> what he uses our non-stick. We'll use this polishing compound that has oils in it. We're just we're hoping that these have some sort of waxiness in them. Yes. To prevent the sticking of concrete to the plastic. That's right. Oh yeah, this is gonna be it. It's the ticket. I tell him he missed us this whole spot right here. Got it now. We're just on to the next half. And then we have how many of these to do, Dad? Six more. Six more. This spot right here. Yeah. Gosh. <laughs> we have one more left. We gotta bring over. <laughs> these things go on here like this. And then we strap them down. And then we fill that with cement. This mobile welder is kind of nice being able to walk around with it. It is going to be so spacious when it's all said and done. It's going to be so nice out here. This is. You see all the posts? This is going to be so awesome. We'll be sitting out here in our little chairs. But wedding first. Wedding first. Then absolute relaxation. Yes. We could still sit out here. <laughs> it's just that dirt. The fun part of all this new construction with some new materials I haven't really worked with as far as concrete goes. I poured foundations uh, galore, uh, did a little bit of flat work, but I've never done anything with pillars and beams. chewing on that cord, are you? No, 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 no. You wanna get a shocker of your life? Huh? No, not. <laughs> Looks like they're gonna be pretty doggone strong pillars. Oh yeah. Have you seen anybody do this before? No. Now they say that a post for this kind of a building that we're putting together, this structure we're doing, should be a six by six post. So we're good. These are six inch rounds. So happy with that. Why, you may ask, we're mixing this by hand. I don't really know. <laughs> you know, you wonder, that big old mixer we bought, why did we buy it if we're mixing it by hand? Well, we're only missing a few bags just to test this one pole. So why would we get the mixer dirty and, you know, it just doesn't make sense. Yeah, because um, the wheelbarrow is not gonna get dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you mean. <laughs> We're really doing the things the hard way today. Small scoop container. Wait, go get a spoon. Okay. <laughs> the a little zip bit ties are not working. They're giving out. So they're borrowing them off of these other ones. Last one, the last melon. And you went with the mixer. Ooh, did you guys have enough? I think that might be right there. Good calculation. Actually, columns are concrete. Oh no, Bryce, we got another term to learn. It's a Greek Romans. word. Oh, 
great reveal. All right. Let's get back here and get a good shot. We're here getting the little metal pieces off. As you can see, I'm not using mom's tools at all. Mm -hmm. I have a suggestion. Maybe it's crazy. Yeah, it's definitely crazy. I think we could fit this prong right in there. Yeah. And just twist it and we'll separate the two halves. Well, let's get the wire off first. He's no fun. At the same time, he's right. Oh. be perfect. Yeah, that's okay. That's, that's too, character. But... They're cute oh, yeah. like Careful that. Careful not to rub your hand. Oh! That worked absolutely beautiful. That we did the wax stuff. Is that what you did? Yeah, yeah. we did a wax. Oh. So, um, let's keep these half together. I love these. They're so cute. Can I test something out real quick? Yeah. Is it my decision? Yeah, great. What are you yeah. testing? To see if I could get a layer or two of this off, but usually I have to do it when it's like a couple hours old. It is so cute. Isn't it just cute? It is. Christmas. Oh yeah, we know what's always on your mind. Great. <laughs> All right, time for some more. It's just fantastic. Of course, wood typically, if it isn't milled, is square. Like you'd buy a six by six post to be able to hold up a structure. I've got, again, round, which is kind of fun. And uh, the roundness of them, they came out really well. I'm, I was very excited about how strong they are. I was kind of excited to figure out how I was gonna get my rebar in the middle of it and keep it in the middle and all the things. It was a fun project to, to figure out the whole pillar idea. And then of course, we've got beams and things that'll be setting on top of that and, and the whole roof structure. So, and you know me, I like roofs. So I'm really getting excited to put a, yet another type of roof in the air. Are you happy with them? I'm very happy with them. My first attempt at making pillars. Now it's time to frame this in, get ready for laying concrete tomorrow. Is yep. That the plan? Yes, it is. Wow, honey. This is going to be an amazing patio. It's going to work well, huh? Yeah, how exciting. Man, these are cool. They match all the round stuff. If sun just beats down on wood, it will deteriorate very quickly. With concrete, it's going to last a lot longer. So uh, when I'm not here in a thousand years, maybe it'll still be standing. We can thank, of course, the Romans for, for concrete. It will always, they like to take credit for it. You know, the Greeks and everybody else wants to say they did it, but I think it was the Romans that did it. You know, oh, you're going over the... <laughs> very brilliant. <laughs> Added shade too, right outside the door. Yeah, throw it for him. <laughs> Good job! Well, the, the tractor is working like a charm. He's yeah. over there getting some more dirt. It's nice and soft now, too. So. Let's see if you can see him over there. Oh, yeah. This project at the patio was something that we were not planning to do right now, but with the wedding coming up, it kind of ushered this along a little quicker. So we have a nice patio. And we're gonna really benefit from oh, that too. Oh yeah, big time. The idea is to put together a screening rail system that will go down the center so that I can use a 10 foot two by to screen the concrete on one side, move over to the other side and screen that. To build the system, we're gonna use a rod, rebar. Then I need a, a tubular thing or whatever, and I got a piece of plumbing here. I'm gonna weld this to the top of it so that when it sits on that, it's one piece. Then I just drive this whole system down so that the level of the pipe that it sets on will be my level of the concrete. So I can just screen right off the top of it. And then I pick it up and I move it to the next one, put the pipe on and screen to that next one. Who's out there, Chip? Hey, hey, it's about to get started, huh? Trying to. Yeah, they want to get started more like. La, 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 la. <laughs> hey, you threw it. Good. Oh, 
he going cheaper? No, I didn't ask him, but I did this for you. Yeah. Yeah. What would Bullet do with the power of the body? I'm just trying to get them open. Yeah, oh, you guys have already jumped your first load. We were very thankful to have so much help. I'm really grateful too that Brittany was willing to get in there and dig in and, and make things happen. It was, it was a hard day. There was a lot of work to do. It was hot. Yeah, there's shade. Cool. Okay. Yes. She likes that. So cool. We had everybody over. Very cool. Everybody was here and helping out. It was every grandchild yep. and every child was here. Yes, there was like the whole family. Everybody jumped in. Yeah, you'd look around, everybody's doing this over here and they're doing this over here and, and the tractors are running over here and people are doing things over there, lifting and, and pulling concrete and just everything. It was so cool. Ah, tarantula! Look on it. No! It's the grossest thing, are He's kind of pretty. Please move. Please move, Mr. Trangela. Thank you. Oh, you gonna water the plants? Oh, I love it. Hey, I'm gonna get you a water, a glass that doesn't have a hole in it. That one has a hole in it. Can you water the pants? Yeah. Yeah, you can do the dry stuff. How's your back, Jocelyn? My back is fine. Yours is what I'm worried about. Nah, who needs a back? What was very special was that we had Kinsley and Azalea's handprints and feet print and I asked Riley and Paisley if they wouldn't mind too doing a little bit of print on here and um, they said sure. That means we've got all the grandchildren all the prints. Yeah. So that's that's really cool. Yes. So Riley and Paisley have agreed to leave their grandchild yes. marks they have. on the patio. Aww. Oh yeah, that'd be cute. Yeah, that'd be like cute. right. Okay, Paige, why don't we have you go like right here and Riley right there. Oh, love yeah. that! We're gonna go see Azalea. She's asleep in the hay. Ready to go the second half of the day, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. At the beginning, everybody's kind of like really going, really going, and then we're trying to get to the very end. It's like, ah, oh, I think we're gonna get done sometime, but uh, but it really worked. It worked really well. Five bucks. Take a drink. Let me think about it for a second. <laughs> it's rainwater. I could use my book. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of dead things in the bottom of that tank. Oh, well, I haven't seen the tank, so it's probably for the better. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I want to be responsible for getting sick. Yeah. We're done. Yay! <laughs> Love it. It's done. They would be yelling that too, but they're so exhausted they're they so can't exhausted, speak. They're so exhausted, they can't. <laughs> they can't speak. Oh, and check this out. Um, yeah. Is that cute? See my hands? I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> Cecilia, look at all the hard work they did. They did such a good job. It's a pretty big hill. Oh, oh she said yes. So, are you ever gonna move again? Mm -mm. That's why I have sons. They move for me. They're so awesome. They got tucked out. 
Well, that looks screeching awesome. You got some really neat ideas for a wood alternative for the, the cover, but we're not gonna get to that before the wedding. Mm, no, before the wedding, unfortunately. We'll have to put a temporary cover up there to kind of shade us. Riley had a great idea. She said she wouldn't even put the top on. The wedding's gonna be later in the evening. The sun won't be on there. We can round stretch put, lights. Stretch lights. Her, and she thought we could look at, up the stars and make that a dance floor. As long as there's no rain, we could go coverless. True. So we can have the cover at hand, and if it starts to rain, throw yeah. it up. Thank you for joining us this week for another weekly peek. I know we have a couple more coming around. What do we got? If you missed that RV one that Jared and Bree did last mm -hmm. Wednesday, that's it. You'll have to try to catch that one too. That's a good one. The t-shirt design of the week is Level Up. Oh yes, Level Up. You had to do a lot of leveling, leveling. and fancy thing for getting all the concrete. Yes, we have, a, we have a really nice floor. <laughs> Very level. So you can pick up that t-shirt over at the store. Well, that link will be down in the description. We also have a lot of other t-shirts and things over there too, if you're interested in that kind of merchandise. There's a lot of things to pick from over there. Please like and subscribe and comment. Let us know what you're thinking. And we'll be discussing them on the podcast yeah, on Monday. That's so. right, Monday podcast. So thanks for showing up today and being a part of our little family weekly peek. So have a great week. Have fun. Sneak peek. Why are you looking at the camera? <laughs> wax, car wax. That'll work. Except for it's, there's not much in there. It's kind of hard. You know, too, that stuff, from what I understand, it's kind of slightly carvable for the first little bit. So you could actually carve something fun into it. Like my initials? Your initials, perfect. Or Gary MLH. Was, Gary was here. How about MLH in the archway? Where's it going? Where's the archway going? Oh, right here, we'll have an arch here. Arch, 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 arch. Beautiful. We could do our initials in each one. Please subscribe to the channel, My Little Homestead. Hit the like button. Also, ring the little bell icon. We'll see you next week. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Is it exciting? Is it exciting, Lula? Oh, good! <laughs> you guys got that okay? Need some help? I don't know. We might need a little help. Good job! Thank <laughs> you.